Ah, hello everyone! This is the Magic Master, and welcome back to the GTA RG Seven Gates, whatever you want to call it, AG. And also, the Christmas Countdown. So, um, happy Friday the 13th, everyone. Hopefully, we have good luck today. Just to, you know, break the usual. I'm going to turn down my mic. There you go. Hopefully now my voice is slightly more bearable. But, um, hopefully we have good luck today, just to break the usual Friday the 13th theory. Uh, so if you haven't seen the last video, I would definitely recommend it, as we are halfway through a gate. We are doing gate 5 of the 7 gates, AOG. There's a whole playlist full of them on my channel, and there's also the whole playlist of the um, Christmas Countdown 2019, which has had Wall Race and this, and that's it so far. But we've still got quite a bit left to go, so anything could happen. But um, without further ado, because we don't want to waste any more time than we already have, let's get right into it. So here we go. Next key. We've got Caesar25, unturnnostone.com forward slash B, something something, yellow something, F, something something, something something something. Well, and this is brighter than usual, so um, we don't know which video to go to, so I'm going to guess this is going to be a Photopia image. So let's fill up Photopia, I'm going right back into the swing of things, if you want me to explain everything, I kind of explain how everything works over the last videos. Uh, all the way back to gate 1, I started explaining how everything works. Basically, this image has probably been tampered with to have a message hidden in it. That we have to mess with some things to try and make it come up. Uh, I could try hue and saturation. Uh, image adjustments, hue slash saturation. That didn't really work. What about saturation? Can we saturate this? This gotta be something hidden. I'm sure there's something hidden just because of the brightness of these tails. Or this tail, you know? So I'm messing with everything to try and get it to come up. Oh, I almost see it there. Uh, lower the contrast or lower the brightness. No, that wouldn't help. Okay, let's do that and then let's try editing the human saturation. There's alien glyphs around the side. Oh, look at that. That's so much better. Does saturating the colours more help? does indeed look at that. Perfect, now we can read those. And now that we can read them, we're gonna have to translate them. So let me just mess around on my desktop screens to get them all to work. Which is harder than you might think as I pull around different things. Okay. Uh, this goes here, this goes here. Then I click desktop one small, desktop two big. There we go. We're gonna solve out what these mean using this piece of paper, this key, and this alien alphabet, which replaced my screen recorder. Okay, so, starting here, and then we're going to go like this, and we'll see what it says. Let me know we add that to unturnnostone.com slash B. What is that letter? Um, here we go as I look through the alphabet painfully slowly. That is a T. Then immediately after that, is that an O? Nope, that's not an O. That is, in fact, a... Not an M either. What is it? It's not a T. It's not, let me get rid of this because it's going to annoy me otherwise. Okay, it's not a T. It is a... Um, not an M, but I don't know what it is, so I'm looking around. Um, what is it? It is a... E. It's an E. T. E. That one is a A. T. Uh, that is a... Um, that is a... See, this is what I mean. I really don't know any of the letters. <sighs> is that a... It's kind of like a G. It's got a hook in it. Like, it looks like an actual G. I mean, it doesn't, but it sort of does. It could be a number. I should remember to check the numbers as well. Um... I used to be really fast at the um, alphabet, but now I'm slow again. T. Maybe it says Team Challenge. It, it doesn't say Team Challenge, that would just be... It could say Team, though. It does not. Although, does it? No, it doesn't. It looks nothing like an ad. I don't feel much fire at all. Oh, I need a new song of the day. I can't badly sing that song. I need to badly sing a different song. It's the same day as I filmed the last video when I'm filming this, so... My voice is still not working. Okay, let's leave it, and then we'll figure out what it is later. Because that one's easy to tell as a H. 
then that one also looks pretty much like a U, that is a U. Then you have a S. No, I lie, that is not an S, that doesn't even look like the S. Um, no, it's US, isn't it? H, U, S, yeah, it is an S. It is an S, I was in fact not lying. I was, I was simply wrong. Um, okay, so then after the S, there is another T. Um, wait, is it the third letter that's, um... Yeah, it's okay, we found it. Uh, after that other T, there is another version of that same letter that I can't find. So we're gonna look for it again. Is that an E? It's an E. No, it's not. The second one is, but that one isn't. That one looks like a C. Oh, teach us. That's what it has to say, right? T E A C H U S. T, that is definitely an E. Um, teach us T. Teach us teen. Oh, I bet it says teach us teen slang. Hold on, is that an S? L. A. N. G. Wait, S. L. A. N. G, right? Yes, okay. Cage is teen slang. Those are two more E's. That doesn't make sense. Teach us teen. S L A N G E E. That looks like a. Cage is teen slang. E. No, no, the second one isn't an E. The first one's an E, but the second one isn't an E. The second one is actually an M. Teaches teen slang emo, maybe? What does an O look like? An O looks like that. Yep, teaches teen slang. Oh, emotions, maybe? Is that? No, that's not a T. That looks like a O and an I. It looks like an II. I... Oh, or what does J look like? J looks like that. So it's actually, yeah, teaches teen slang emoji. Uh, CH. C H A double L E N G E. Teach us teen slang emoji challenge. Let's uh, go there. Teach us teen slang emoji challenge. Actually, I should probably pull the screen back up. Hold on, I'll mess, mess around with screens again, push a bunch of buttons that will hopefully make it work. And there we go. Teach us teen slangs emoji challenge GT live. Well, here it is. Oh, hello, Caesar Cipher. Um, here's the part where we skip to the video for a second where Steph bows her head. There we go, we can see that whole thing. Now, I pull this up on desktop to smaller screen, which is that button. We'll put that code right there. I'll even do this so it's as big as it can possibly be. Then we go to our Caesar Cypher decoder that I don't have open, but I will find by typing in... I realize my commentary is probably quite boring. I wish I had, like, music or something in the background. I could probably put some on. I don't know. I feel like I should be more interesting than I am. And we have CZF... G... Uh, that's a G... FM... JD... G. And we are actually shifting it by 24. Five, I believe it said. By Felicia. Oh, wait. B Y E comma. Yep. Okay. Um let's try going there. I guess. I mean, why the heck not? Uh we can refresh this and I'm actually gonna pin this in case we need it later, because we probably will. Oh no, please don't be another one. Bye, Felicia. No! Oh my land, another dungeon? 
Okay, listen up. We need to get to the exit in exactly 34 steps, or we've got big problemas. That was a horrible joke. Who, who wrote that joke? Matt Pat, I'm ashamed for that. Oh. So. The way I see it, we have two options here. I could spend the next three videos trying to figure out how to solve this four floor maze or I could go to Google, you know, and just search some random tram term like GTA or G Master Tracker. You know, again, just random term that just popped in my head. Click on the first thing I see. Then select, I don't know, a random number. We'll do five. Then also drag down to a random number of these. I think I'll go, I don't know. I think I'll go three. Yeah, I think three is a good idea. Actually, no, I've changed my mind. I'll go four. Yeah, four is a better idea. And then... Oh. Oh, well, I'm too interested not to click this link. Sloppy work, comma, you missed this, comma, spot, comma. Um. Well, I mean... Look at that. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Um. And then it might just coincidentally say, find the hex... Actually, it says it in uh, the correct way on the other side, doesn't it? Staircase to the green staircase. So there's no staircase to the other the green map. The, okay. First thing this string tells players to find the hex value at the center of floor 3. Doing so using an eyedropper tool shows that green has the hex code of BADA55. Also seen around the circle. Uh, data. 5-5. Five, five. Bada 5-5 five, five is where we're going to go. Completely coincident. Oh, I, I see. I, I, I get it. See, we did that completely legitimately. We just happened to stumble across this link, you know? Completely without... Okay, I'm sorry, guys, but I wasn't going to do a four-level maze. I've done it once. I didn't want to have to do it again. Okay. We did it! You got us through those dreadful dungeons, and now comes the real fun. Enter the world of... Papercraft. But first, we've got one more puzzle to solve. Dig deeper to embark on a little journey through time and history. No idea what that means, but it must mean something. So now we're going to go... Hold on. Nope, that's not even the right folder. Give me a second, I've got to like reorder everything. E, pull this up, drag this in here. What have I got on screen? Just the front screen. Okay. That's fine. This proves how, like, incredibly un unorganized I am for this whole thing, but it's fine. Notepad. What's at the bottom? Here you go. In his teens, Matt's enthusiasm for learning about historic explorer was killed by a meanie. Who was this explorer? Begin at the base, 8 to the second power. Base 8 to the second power will be 8, base 16. So I wonder if that, I bet that's a code that we can decode. Is that a common code? Hi. Base 16 decoder. It would appear that is a thing. Pop that in there. And get a result, maybe? Please? Okay, we'll find another website that might actually work. I mean... Is this just normal hex? Hex decode. This isn't... Working. Oh, it must just be the actual lent to equal sign. Did I pick up the right part?
8 squared is 16, right? No. No, it's not. 4 squared is 16. I'm going insane. It's base 64 I want to decode. That would explain why it's not working. Decode it. There we go. Search the streams for the grade that shares the total, the same total number of gates in this AOG. Its title contains the darkest of dreams. Begin where four twos appear side by side before the slash. Listen intently for exactly 30 seconds and your key shall be revealed. So, 22-22. And then listen for 30 seconds. But first we have to find um, GT Live, Grade 7, Nightmares. 7 Grade Nightmare. 22, 22, which brings us to right about here. And now we shall listen intently, and I will go silent while I listen. And I will even turn on cut the thing if it's not on yet. This is actually starting a bit earlier. If you're an end in the U.S., international audience, you're great. You're good to go. Golden. Awesome. Uh, uh, I can't turn on captions. But, but no, this Sorry. teacher literally... And it, seventh grade wasn't the worst because of the kids. It was the worst because of the teachers. Honestly, like, I had a handful of okay teachers in seventh grade, but this was the year where, like, we were rotating between a bunch of different teachers, and my social studies teacher literally the whole year didn't know my name. Didn't know. <laughs> my social didn't teacher know calls me. My name was. Doesn't call me my own name. Kept oh, we all, me we have a lot name. of seventh graders. Hang in there. It gets better. Stay, stay tough. <laughs> I'm not in seventh grade, but my Literally, social teacher doesn't call me my own name. Had no clue what my name was, even though I was like obviously the overachiever, like nerd student who was like, I know the answer. I know. The she actually gave me points off because I went above and beyond on a project. Like, seriously, I kid you not. Like, oh, you got minus five points because you did more than what was required. It's like, thanks. Thanks, teach. What a meanie. Like, way to kill my <laughs> enthusiasm for learning about Sir Francis Drake. Yeah, I still remember what the project was. I had to... Sir Francis Drake. Is that the password? Sir Francis Drake. That is the password. Excellent work. Oh my god, come on. Come on, man. Okay, here we go. Excellent work! You earned 50 theorist points for solving the key! And with that, we're gonna end the video. I realise we're technically two minutes early, but um, we've run over the last two episodes, so today we run early. Uh, probably tomorrow we will finish gate 5 with the final key, which happens to be key 5. Um, but that is all the time I have for today. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. I was about to say next time, which is what I normally say, but then we're still in the Christmas countdown, so um, it will be next time, but it will, but it will also be tomorrow. We'll just stick. So I'll see you all next time, slash tomorrow, slash... I'll see you the next time you click on one of these videos to watch them. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going from here. Biting challenge. Mm -hmm.